Hi you out there in gaming land and welcome to this guide for Siberia 2 and how to make it look much more modern and high definition and crispy all those good things. So to start this off this guide is mainly for the GOG version of Siberia 2 using Windows 11. So the GOG version of the game using Windows 11 and as you can see on my screen right here I have the Siberia collection if you will and it is inside of the GOG Galaxy window so that's what we are looking at right now and the first step here is to go to Siberia 2 and to install it and to make things smoother I already did that but it was a fresh installation I had never had the game installed on this PC before so I only hit the installation and then I picked the default path that God Galaxy suggested you are free to use whichever one you want of course but I picked the default one and in this guide I will be following a steam thread that describes how to improve both Siberia 1 and Siberia 2. But first step, get God Galaxy in place, install Siberia 2. So here is the Steam thread that I was talking about. It is found under the Siberia 1 game on Steam and it was made by Tony.RHCP which might or might not stand for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I have no idea of knowing but he has a very good thread here that goes into some detail about how to enhance Siberia 1 and 2 in uh, into high resolution basically and he has a focus on maintaining aspect ratio and that's an interesting point that we will we will come back to so this thread tries to keep that and in much of this guide I will strive to do that as well and then leave you the option at the very end to apply all of this or not but we'll get back to that so this is the thread and I will have all threads and other information available as um, links in the description if you want to go in here and have a look on your very own so now that I have shown you the thread and we have installed the game we need some software in order to start tinkering with this game and the software in question for this guide is called DG Voodoo 2 and here it is so DJ Voodoo 2 is a set of implementation of old graphics APIs for Windows 7 and later versions and that's as simple as it gets and it is updated regularly and I will provide that link as well but this is the part that we are interested in so you have a list of old versions and then you have the latest stable version and DJ Voodoo version 2.82.3 is the one we will be using so I have already downloaded that but just clicking on this should make the download automatically happen. Now after that we can extract that program and it's up to you where you want it. I have already created a folder called the DJ Voodoo seeing as I've used this software in the past. So here we have the folder in question. I have um, many versions of DJ Voodoo in here because I've used it previously and you can create whichever folder you want as long as you know where you have the program. So I put it in here, I extracted it and then I went into it because that's where we need to go so inside of here we have the DJ Voodoo 2 and everything we need from this program is inside of here but we also need the gaming folder so now that we are well on our way with this enhancement I would like to mention that if this guide is of use to you and if you like the channel I would love it if you hit those like subscribe buttons and comments about this guide are super welcome as well of course okay so now 
that Siberia 2 has been fully installed from Dark Galaxy. You should have, if you follow the default path, you should find the game folder under Program Files 86 Dark Galaxy Games and Siberia 2. And this is the folder with the game. And I have also uh, opened up the DJ Voodoo 2 software folder and this is the starting view in that one and now it's time to move some files from the dg voter folder to the siberia 2 folder and as i previously mentioned i am following the instructions from the steam thread and the steam thread only so let's do the following first pick the executable file copy that and drop it into the siberia 2 folder then move into the MS folder. And in here you have three options. And I think for most of us, the X86 is the one that we should pick. And inside of here, we have four DLL files and we need three of them. And in Siberia one, if you are doing the same for that game, you only need two, but in this one, you need three and they are as follows the ddraw dll the d3di mm dll and the d3d8 dll so those three are crucial so grab those copy them and drop them in here and now we have all of the four files here and that means that we can do that we don't need to look into the voodoo folder anymore but we can now start the software and if this is the first time you have dropped this program into the folder, uh, Windows might be a little suspicious about what you are trying to do. And it doesn't know what the DG Voodoo is, just tell it to execute it anyway, because that is what we want to do. And when you are in the program, this little window should open up. So, one of the things that I should mention is that if you have had earlier versions of DJ Voodoo installed on your computer, I think that the next version sort of inherits the settings that you already had. So I will go through what you should shake and change, but most of them are probably already pre shaken on my screen right now. So inside of DJ Voodoo, you have three main tabs. You could say you have general, light and direct X, and we will go through them one at a time. So on this first screen, opt for the full screen. If that's not already picked, then in the scaling mode, keep centered, uh, keep aspect ratio. So I want to make the game look more crisp, but I don't want to mess with the aspect ratio. So that's why I'm keeping it to centered on the check boxes over here. Keep progressive scanline order or check it if it's not already checked. Same thing goes for miscellaneous, keep window aspect ratio and capture mouse. And that's all of the stuff that is of interest on this tab. Glide, you can simply pass by. I went in there and unchecked the 3D FX watermark because I don't want any extra watermarks, but then we can move into the direct X. And here we have a few things that we must look into. So the VRAM, whatever it is as default value, go in there and take 1024 megabytes as the choice if it's not there already. Video card, same thing. Go into there and pick the DJ Voodoo Virtual 3D Accelerated card. Um, down here, make sure that mid mapping is disabled. And down on miscellaneous with the shake boxes, go for the apply fong shading when possible. Anti-aliasing has a few choices, but why not go for the best? So eight times. And then this should be to force anisotropic filtering 16 times. You have many choices, but this one is the best. So pick that. Now, inside of DG Voodoo 2 on the direct X, you have a choice to make if you want the game to um, be stretched or not. It can still look pretty good if you want to use, uh, for instance, a 2560 times 1440. 
if you have a screen as large as that, which is my default screen, you can use that. But the game will be stretched. It will still look a lot more crispy than it would have if we didn't use DG Voodoo 2. But it will not have the original aspect ratios. If you want to have the original aspect ratios, then pick 1440. 1080. That's what you use if you want to have the original aspect ratios. If you run that on a big screen, though, it will be um, the game will be centered on the screen, so you will have a lot of black space outside of the game. The game itself will look great, though, and I will show you both of the outputs um, just to make sure that you can pick for yourself which one you want. So let's try the 1440 times 1080 first. Bye. And after having applied, it's very important to remember to start the game from inside of the Siberia 2 folder. If you do not start it from within the Siberia 2 folder, the changes will not apply. So if you start from God Galaxy, it will just look like the game would have in default. So don't do that started from inside of the floor. So already here you can see what I meant. It is very crisp, it is very centered, and you have an ocean of black surrounding the game area. And that's just because the game is keeping the aspect ratios. But you can see, it does look very crisp. And um, yeah, a lot of people might have uh, an issue with all the black, and some might not. It's really up to what you want to experience, but it does have the crispiness. So in game, you also have options. So if you want to, you can go in there and put on subtitles, anti-aliasing and detail level and things like that. And then start up the game. And it's the same have thing Have you heard here. anything about Kate Walker? No, sir. Nothing yet. She should have been back in New York several weeks ago. Intro movies will also be centered. Gone. We're losing her. She ain't gonna... I skipped ahead. So this is inside of the game. And as you can see, still centered, but the aspect ratios are correct. And it looks very crisp and more HD than it ever did before. So yes, this is the 1440 80 experience if you want to call it that now as um a finishing touch on this guide i will show you what um bigger version of this solution would be and it might be the one that i myself would go for because i want to use as much of my screen as possible even though this one would have worked just fine so here we are again the entire screen is being used and it still looks pretty good. And the same applies here. It is bigger, but it's still much more crisp than it would have been without our changes. But let's load up the game that we just had and see the difference. So here we have it. This is me using all of the screen. As you can see, the aspect ratios are a little bit more stretched, but if you are comfortable with that, then you have a crisper looking version of Siberia 2 using your big screen. But as I said, it's really um, a matter of taste. If you want to have the centered original aspect ratio version in HD or this bigger version of Siberia 2 or whichever size you want to use on your screen but there we have it I have now shown you a couple of ways to get this game up to HD specs and it's really up to you which one you like the most happy gaming thank you all for following along in my Siberia 2 HD improvement guide I hope you are looking at a crispy version of the game right now if you want to do the same with Siberia 1, you only need to stick around after clicking on those like and subscribe buttons, of course.